Hey, my name is Sam. I'm going to be, um, I was thinking of doing a series of videos based off of um, my experience with Maravarok and the generic of a drug of a Lipitor and talk about how it's helped me kind of start to recover from POTS from COVID. Um, just a little backstory that I got infected in March of 2020. Um, and one of my first symptoms two days after being um, infected was extreme dizziness and loss of balance. And that was something that persisted really, really bad while I was sick. Um, when I, about, I would say about two weeks after I got infected is when it got really, really bad, but I had a very, very low heart rate. And if I recall, it felt like someone was stinging me in my heart. Like there were bees um, right in this part of my lung and then around my heart. And I couldn't even take a hot shower without feeling like I had a match to the back of my lungs. So I remember um, that. And also when I was really sick, my veins would be dilated pretty bad out of my out of my forehead. So I would just put my bangs in front and just be like, it's, this is not happening. Um, I also had severe hallucinations a few nights too. So, and it kind of persisted a little bit into the week. So those are some of the things I had that I knew something was not going to be right after I, I had gotten sick. It was pretty severe. And at that time, you know, if you went to the hospital, I mean, the hospital said you, I wasn't coughing. So they didn't really want to take me. And also people were getting ventilated. So it was one of those things where I kind of just had to suffer alone at my house for a good month. Cause I had a fever, I think for like, was it 65 days before I got on propan um, propanolol? So, but anyway, um, so in May of uh, 2020, the heart rate, it went from at one time beating way too slow, like 30 beats per minute to way up high. And I noticed when I was even getting in my car, something was wrong. Like I had severe anxiety and I'm like, whoa, this isn't like me. Cause I could travel anywhere and not have, I'd never really suffered from anxiety. Um, so I was like, there's something wrong. My heart was going up to like 115, just sitting down. And then it would skyrocket when I would stand to the point where like, I would hear ringing in my ears and I thought I was going to faint. Um, and I would get really sick. So I ended up going to the hospital, you know, and I was just treated like I had anxiety. I was treated like garbage. I lived in Louisiana at the time and it was really, really bad. Um, I, I, my feet were turning purple too when my heart was going up. We now know why my vascular issues that I now have, you know, vasculitis or POTS causing the blood pooling, but I just got laughed at. So I was also told just go take a walk, you know, go hang out with your friends. Like, no there's something seriously wrong. Um, I got on uh, propanolol um, about June 1st, I think it was after, you know, being on, having this fever. The great thing about that drug is it got rid of the fever. So that finally broke. But um, yeah, so sorry for the barking. Anyway, um, so this whole time, what are we going on? 18 months, I've like suffered from POTS. I haven't really been able to work um, up until now. I wasn't able to work. I did school online. I could barely grocery shop. It didn't matter that I was on a beta blocker. It, it just got me, the beta blocker was good at first, but then it started dropping my blood pressure too low and I kept getting more and more sick. So um, yeah, I got off of that in February and then my heart rate, I was having like almost panic attack feelings going in the store coming off that because my adrenals were opening up. It was just so bad. Um, and then I got the vaccine and it made it worse. I had the JJ vaccine in April and everything got worse. So up until this point, I've been really suffering and I found um, Long Hauler Group and Bruce Patterson's um, team. And I was, I found out that I had, you know, severe eleva uh, elevated um, certain markers on the cytokine test that were very elevated about like four. I think the reason I didn't have more is because of the, my diet. I eat such a low inflammatory diet. I'm, I'm sure it was close to having IL-2 and IL-4, um, elevated. It was close, but a little bit down. I think if I ate differently, 
they definitely would have been up. Um, so for the past two weeks, I've been taking the generic of Lipitor and then cells entry, which is prescribed as Mirabarak, but I'm beginning cells entry. That's what the pharmacy had. It's expensive, it's, you know, but um, just these past two days, really like my heart rate's not going up when I stand, I'm able to go out in the heat and not get sick. Like I'd go out in the heat, my heart rate would go up to 150, 160, I almost pass out. I'd be so sick and so dizzy. It's not doing that these past two days. And it's amazing because people tell you it, it'll never go away. But I think if you get it from a virus, there is a way to make it, at least I'm hoping completely disappear. It may still linger a little bit, but I can still go on my daily life. Um, I, I just prayed that there would be hope that someone would help me. And I'm so grateful uh, for Bruce Patterson and the treatment with the CCR5 um, antagonist uh, because I, I just kept saying I want my life back. Um, some of the bad side effects I've had is now hitting the two week mark. I'm not sleeping very well at night. It's keeping my, and that's a side effect. And I was, at first I was like, oh, this is good. Cause I suffered from severe insomnia when I go, I'm like, oh, I'm surprised I'm not getting this side effect, but yeah, I'm getting that. And then not being able to go to the bathroom, constipation, too much info, but like, those are the main, main side effects. Um, sometimes when I take it, I'll get the chills and I'll get really shaky but I just think it's because it's helping my veins and my nervous system clean out and my whole body and it, my body's just going into a little shocky, but it's not, nothing like a big deal. Um, I could handle it. I had more side effects from taking Claritin over the shelf. Like I had to, over the counter, I had to go to the ER because my heart rate went up so high once when I just took it, just a regular Claritin, not even Claritin D. So, I mean, the worst thing is not being able to go to the bathroom and having to take laxatives, but like, it's not all your life. I just thought I'd make this just to show like there is hope. There was hope for me when I found a physical therapist that got me over my vertigo, my um, all my vestibular problems that I had. He really helped me. He's been like one of the main helps before getting this treatment. But um, yeah, it's just amazing like how quickly my my veins feel like they're healing. And I just hope it continues to go like that over the next few months. And then I'll be able to, in like two or three months, go back to eating some of the foods that I used to eat. Like I miss avocados and strawberries and tomatoes and everything with histamines caused my heart rate to go up a bit too. So I'm just hoping that this all, you know, will eventually just go away completely over the next few months. But I just wanted to share this. There is hope if you have POTS and um, Moravarok or cells entry, whichever one, um, the same thing and a statin. And then if you get prescribed ivermectin, um, all those things really help. Um, and there is hope. So I just wanted to share that. And um, if anyone was interested in like side effects from Aravarac or how it works. So um, yeah, I'll probably be making a few more videos on this. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. Bye.